Construction sites are often communities within themselves. On most construction sites, you will find a variety of activities with numerous pieces of equipment and tools being used. One of the most expensive pieces of equipment is the crane. Coordination of all construction activities is extremely important, especially crane operations. Cranes account for more than 20% of construction fatalities and hundreds of thousands of dollars in project damage. Over the past few decades, cranes have become extremely expensive and undergone many changes, due in part to new engineering design and job site requirements. Manufacturers have built stronger, yet lighter cranes in response to specific industry needs and advancements in technology. Speed, sophistication, capacity, and reach have been improved to the point that the crane is an indispensable workhorse for construction. Therefore, a more thorough understanding of cranes, their capabilities, and limitations is extremely important for everyone involved in construction today, especially site superintendents and senior management. The crane is capable of performing safely and economically when operated within the design parameters set by the manufacturer. Adequate pre-planning and coordination not only improves the safety of the operation, it also reduces crane operating cost. Many accidents occur when because of unexpected conditions or events, job site personnel modify operating procedures and make do with what they have. If site superintendents with the support of their companies concentrate on accident prevention efforts by planning lifts and assuring proper crane setup, accidents can be reduced. It is critical that the crane chosen is suitable to the task and is adequate for the conditions expected at the job site. Improper crane setup is responsible for approximately 50% of construction crane accidents. Too often, management is unaware of its responsibilities and the decisions necessary or special provisions required before a crane is moved on site. Thorough pre-planning before the job starts and continual monitoring of operations through completion of the project is critical in crane safety programs. A construction site or project superintendent is the person responsible for all activities on the job, which include ensuring that the planning and the execution of crane operations are done safely. Cranes are involved in more serious accidents than any other piece of heavy construction equipment. Therefore, the construction site superintendent must not only be knowledgeable of a multitude of construction activities, but should have a basic understanding of crane operations. How can hazards associated with crane operations be greatly reduced? First and foremost is to have an experienced and knowledgeable site supervisor overseeing all operations. Site superintendents need to have a basic knowledge of crane selection and setup. Do you have the right crane for the job? Are there electrical or other overhead hazards? Is the crane set up on solid foundation? When required, are outriggers extended according to manufacturer's specifications? Are there sufficient clearances for access to the job site and to complete the lift? Are pinch points guarded? Is there too much congestion around the crane operations? Site superintendents also need to understand crane operations and the purpose of anti-two block devices, load moment indicators, mechanical levels, boom angle indicator, load indicating devices, crane load charts, and outriggers and pad supports. In addition, the site superintendent must be sure that the crane operators 
are knowledgeable and experienced in the use of the load charts for the crane they are operating. Radius measurements, outriggers and supports, boom angle indicators, anti two block devices, load moment indicators, mechanical level, various lifting devices such as slings and bars, and is able to calculate loads. Key to any lifting operation is the operator's understanding of the crane's load charts, which provide operating parameters and guidelines on what the crane can and cannot do. Supervisors and operators must remember that the load charts and operating instructions are developed by manufacturers for specific cranes and are tested under ideal conditions, such as no wind, setup level on solid foundation, lifting static or dead weights, no movement in the swing or boom angle, and in every case, the manufacturer uses new equipment. Construction sites seldom provide all of these ideal conditions to operate a crane. Load charts and equipment instructions normally identify any restrictions or reduce capacities when operating under less than ideal conditions. They generally state that the operator has the responsibility to judge existing conditions and reduce lifted loads and operating speeds accordingly. Crane related accidents can be reduced if crane operators are experienced and qualified to operate the equipment assigned to them and site superintendents understand basic crane operations and are knowledgeable of their capacities and limitations. Mm -hmm.